It's 12, 12, 12. <laughs> Welcome to Pastor Bob Daly. I've been getting so many messages and uh, emails from people who are really losing it financially. This is a really difficult time economically for most people throughout the world. And as we see our incomes dwindling, as people are losing their jobs, and as people are fighting to stay in their homes and to put food on the table, we wonder what we should do. And I get so many people that write to me and say, you know, Pastor Bob, I, I'm at the end of my rope. I, I don't know what else to do. I've had recently a lot of people asking if I can send them some money. And, uh, you know, I wish I had a lot of money to send. I really do. And if you were in Nashville, I'd give you food. And if you are in Nashville, let me know. I can at least give you food. But, you know, that's a difficult thing. And I don't have a lot of suggestions because I think that difficult times really are ahead. I know that God is large and in charge. But folks, I think we're going to go through some difficulties. The biggest suggestion that I have is not necessarily a very spiritual one, but, uh, but a really important one nonetheless. Downsize. Downsize. You know, folks, I, um, I began uh, my life as a minimalist a few years ago. And I think I've told most of you that I moved from a 4,300 square foot home, which is huge, huge yard, everything, to where I presently live in 300 square feet. Almost everything that you can see in this picture right now is almost everything. You, the only thing you can't see is the other wall. Um, my little kitchen is there. The window looking out is right there. My bookcases are over there and you can see kind of a, a glimpse of my bathroom in there. That's it. That's my house, 300 square feet. And I love it. But let me say that I have really downsized. I don't have very many expenses at all anymore. Um, I've sold almost everything and I've kept the things that are most important to me. Uh, if things can't fit into my small space, I don't keep them. I don't have any storage space or anything. I, what I have here is what I have. And, you know, I think that's where most of us need to get. Now, <clears throat> some people have huge homes that they're trying to keep, and they're saying, you know, where is God in all of this? And, you know, maybe, maybe that's not the lifestyle he really wants us all to live. You know, and some people say, well, God wants you to be prosperous and have everything that you ever wanted. And I don't see that as be being very biblical, honestly. I, I think that God will give us what we need. But, but to give us things that are extravagant and, you know, while other people are going hungry, I have a problem with that personally. Um, whether you agree or disagree, it comes down to this. We need to be able to make it through these next few years of a down economy. We need to be able to, to operate. And the way to do that is, first of all, to downsize. If you have too much space, get into something smaller. You have too much stuff, I'm sure. Get rid of it. You don't need it. And the second thing is, we're not going to do this alone. We're going to do this corporately. It's you and your friends together making it work. You know, that's the picture of the New Testament church. In Acts chapter 2, you know, starting with verse 42, it says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to the breaking of bread, to prayer, and to fellowship. Everyone was together, had everything in common. They enjoyed the favor of each other as well, it says in that portion of Scripture. And then it says, selling everything they gave to each other as everybody had need. In other words, they viewed it as something they did together. Now, we need to begin to operate much the same way. If your church is a bunch of individuals not working together, then you need to make some changes. It's people working together. You have something I need, please share it with me. I have something that you need, here you go. 
And, you know, it's all about that. It's that whole story of, you know, I have a potato, you have a carrot, you know, you have these vegetables, you have this kind of sauce. Let's all get together and make soup and eat together. You know, that philosophy has carried many generations before us and will carry us today. But this isn't a day for individuals. This is a day for families, for friends to get together and to operate as a unit. So downsize, get rid of all the stuff you don't need. And that may even mean downsizing from your home that's too big for you to handle. And secondly, work together. It's that, that, that working together part that's going to make all the difference in the end. God bless you. Have a great day.